Welcome back to Saturday AM. When we think of cheese, we might think of French, Brie, Dutch, Edam, but what about Irish cheese, Tommy? Yes, indeed. Kevin Sheridan is here with the low down. What about Irish cheese? It's about, it's about time we had this debate. Good morning. You're going to tell us it's all about it. You've got four no. new Irish cheeses on the market, yeah, four well, good well, Irish cheeses. On... Yeah, we took uh, four Irish cheeses to look at today. These are all cheesemakers that are going to be on our at our festival tomorrow. So. Um, Where's that happening, Kevin? Just that's happening on. out in our headquarters between Virginia and Kells, just off the M3. We've got over 100 of the best Irish food producers, real food producers there in the one Brilliant. spot. Six or 7,000 people. How can people get tickets? Just arrive. Arrive. Just five and arrive. And five and kids are free. Tell um, them we it's a, Bring your appetite. It's a celebration of these kind of producers. Brilliant. And, you know, we've got butchers and bakers and chutney yeah, makers and everybody. And, yeah. yeah, everybody's Starting doing something good. Starting with Tipperary, Collini. Yes, so Brie de Mar has been making Cavini there since down in Tipperary uh, since the early 80s. And it's a, one that you'll see around the place, yeah. uh, but one of the real success stories in Irish farmhouse cheese. So it's like a camembert, but different because it's Irish. And okay. it's all, you know, the grass on our own farm, the milk from our own Terroir. farm. That's it down here. And uh, Why not, Thomas, we've come this far? Leave quite delicate, you know, it's not overpowering. Well, let's see what you think of it. Really creamy and lovely. We got thumbs beautiful. up, yeah. Oh, that's gorgeous. Mm. Yeah. Very, very creamy. Very nice. really yeah, really creamy. rich and creamy, not too oh. much to it, but oh, very lovely. enjoyable. Yeah. yeah. Really, really lovely. What's the, where, so what, what's the difference between this and a camembert mm. in terms of flavour then? It's the, uh, a traditional Normandy camembert will be a little bit heavier, a little bit more mushroomy, a little Pungier bit more pungent. Yeah, yeah, a bit heavier going. Uh, Coulini is a little bit more delicate, a little bit lighter. But you, you do get that. Smooth. You do get that camembert. Yeah, you do get that sort of white mushroom. And, yeah, it's yeah, gorgeous. Yeah. Nice really with. Brilliant. Would you pair it with anything? Yeah, I mean, with, with anything fresh bread, beautifully baked. You know, people like uh, baked. Ah, yes. You know, just they actually do a baking one, but in a little bit of tin foil in the oven, out in the middle of the table. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Yeah. Dip in a yeah. bit of fresh bread. Now, where exactly. are we off to next? So well, let's go to Duras in West Cork. So right. Jeff and her daughter Sarah make this cheese again since the seventies. You know, so these are uh, yep. the royalty of Irish farmhouse cheese. Now, which is cheese is, that, which, which so, is it to your left? So this is it here. Ah, very good. Yeah. Okay. So this is... I'll go with the small... No, I won't. I'll go with the medium one. You know, we're talking about West Cork, where Durs is made, Malines, Gobeen. It's a hotbed, isn't it? Yeah, and really where, where it all started. Um, oh. and, and a lot of these cheesemakers, I think, are, are mostly responsible for all the great foods that we have now, because they're the first to take that risk and start making cheese on the farm. That's farms. sensational. Yeah. That is savage. Yeah. That is really, really good. Yeah. Very, so good, again, so much flavour, but mm. yet delicate, you know, You've really approachable. A bit of onion marmalade. Yeah. It's paired, it's nice. that's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, really it's good. really, really nice. That Sweetness is really, goes, really yeah, good, yeah. Kevin. Right. Beautiful cheese. Take us on further, dear boy. So we won't go too far, uh, and we go up to McCroom, and uh, we've got coule. This is it here. So this is something a bit more, a bit of a harder yeah, cheese. Yeah, so this is off what we would describe as Gouda, which is the Dutch way of making cheese. Is that how you uh, pronounce that? Gouda, yeah. I've been calling it Gouda for years. Yeah, that's Gouda is fine as well. We'll, <laughs> we'll get you a piece no matter what you call it. But uh, the Willems has moved over here in the 60s um, and started farming and weren't able to find any decent cheese. So Helen Willems started making mm. cheese for her kids. <laughs> And That's they were really good. one of the two first Irish uh, farmers cheese makers. I'm thinking a, a, a ploughman's lunch. Yeah, beautiful. With this in it. Sweetness, caramel. You know what, with a really nice piece you. of home cooked Irish ham. Yeah. That's beautiful. just gorgeous mm. on a sandwich, you know what I mean? Beautiful. That's aged. That would have been made in the middle of last summer. So that is really now, good. Nice, you know, is that one you'd months. have with, with wine? or You can have wine or, do you know, that one is beautiful with a glass of stout. And will they do a smoked That's version of it at all? No. No, no. Coulet straight, straight down, down the middle, middle. It's really good one though. cheese and make it beautiful. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're going into a hard cheese then. Yeah, the another, uh, th this is the, called Caution Tear, it's a sheep's milk cheese. Now which one is that, Kevin? So this one is right. here. So the way of making is very similar to Coulet. Uh, the milk is coming from Tipperary and then it's made in Galway, in Portrum and Galway. So this is a hard again, cheese. This is Again, the... aged hard cheese, again aged for, you know, up to a year. Um, but you get that same kind of sweetness because mm. it's a gouda as well, but the sheep's milk gives this roundness to it. Oh, that's really good. This other dimension to it as well. Really, really brilliant. For me, that would be grated over pasta. That well, would be absolutely well, beautiful. No, that's because, you know, you hear pecorino, which yeah, yeah, pecora yeah. is the Italian for sheep. Pecorino, yeah, yeah. sheep's milk cheese. Well, there you go. And that Parmigiano Reggiano, of course, but actually, if you go to Italy, 
the even Pecorino on the yeah, pasta yeah. mostly, and really? it's beautiful. That would be that, sensational yeah. over a yeah. little. A, a few or, little chunks of it with a glass of wine. Absolutely, or, yeah, yeah. Or even but, a port. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> it's all about the port, yeah, yeah. too, isn't it? Well. It's the, the daddy dance and the daddy singing. Now you want to sit with the fire and have a glass of port and fall asleep in your slippers. It's time, time, time for us to kick back. It's still the morning time, Tom. <laughs> so, they yeah, are they. sensational so if you want cheeses. Them, really good stuff. And, and what's most amazing about these cheeses are the people behind them. Yeah, these people who they're make these cheeses stories, farm they? and they're lovely people. And that's, you know, you that's what the festival is about. Festival. Come down to the festival, actually have a chat with the people who make the cheese and enjoy some music, some kids fun. And we've got some workshops where the kids can... There's chocolate makers showing kids how to make chocolate. Well, this is like a great day. How to make butter, you know. It's just a real celebration because I don't think we appreciate no, how we wonderful our food is. And this is this is kind of grown from, as you say, a lot of the producers in West Cork who yeah. started this off and it's spread all around. And the I mean, it, now. you know, from the 70s. So this has been a, you know, people putting a lot of work over a and long time. And you know what, Kevin? Every chef that we have in here every week says, you know, that we should be banging the drum about yeah. Irish produce. Yeah. We do have the best produce yeah. available. We, absolutely, because we've got the grass, we've got the weather, and then we've got amazing creative people. And we have the climate. Yeah. Great stuff, so, Kevin. Nearly. Two yeah, hours yeah, a bit of sunshine now. <laughs> <laughs> we, we do. Thanks a yeah, million, Kevin. Great stuff, Kevin. Now, earlier Fantastic. on, we got to tug into Hoisin pork tacos for lunch.